It was so good in India. Uh, what happened? Uh, and uh, two days it went like that. And uh, but I, I continue with that. It's, uh, I know that these things. They continued. Uh, I continue with meditation. Ah, uh, uh, it, it came when I just sit uh, silently. I sit for contemplating, and I just uh, do simple that. Uh, uh. Just go and put attention to the self. Everything will just settle down. It's natural for the mind to come up I, like that. I, you know? Something like first time uh, for me it was like miraculous, but after today, like uh, I was still continuing, yeah. and then after two days, first time I saw that uh, this attention just goes back and this normal. Yeah. It just stayed like that. Uh, it's, 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 it's good for us dead. because our mind cannot stay underneath too long. It has to come to the surface. That's because of your own sadhana, your own satsang. It has to keep coming up to the surface. So it can feel a bit like that, but at least it's it's more visible than hidden. So they come up like that, and then they just dissipate. It just goes away, it dissipate. But usually you say so, uh, that uh, you go on practicing and. Uh, Attention can just stay, just uh, it just comes, comes, comes. Even goes. more, even more than that, I say, even you are there before attention, even because you can watch where the attention is going. So if you can see that you can watch even attention, you must really try and understand where where are you to watch attention. You're already the place. You know, the attention can only come to you, or it can go out towards a phenomenon. phenomenon. But really, when attention is here, it just returns to you. It's not you. Very often, we we um, identify with the attention, but attention is also capable of observing. You know, because sometimes people can say, "My attention is very restless today," and you know, I can't control my attention. It's going all over the place. I say, oh, "Don't worry. You are here. You're not going all over the place. The attention is going. If you pay, if you pay attention to yourself, which is really here." Just acknowledge that you're already here, even. You know, that's the most natural attention to acknowledge that. But you're already here. You cannot be the attention running about. If you identify with that, then you'll feel restless. You take on the quality of restless attention. But if you stay in the place where it is witness that the attention is going, don't worry about that. You know, just be with the stillness uh, that is yourself. You know, and uh, that is so, so. Powerful, because it doesn't mean you have to go. If you if you are just with yourself, attention has to come back to you, because it cannot live without you. It's like a, a parasite cannot live without the thing it's living on. So, in a sense, you know, all these forces have to come to you. If you acknowledge yourself, know what know what you are, as just the pure awareness, the formless awareness, somehow resting in itself. All the all your powers like attention, the body, belief, identity, all these they have to come back to it. They come back and they become quiet. Very naturally thing. But sometimes there is some storm in the mind, the body mind, and it's going to move like that. And the way through that is leave it. Like Sri Maharaj say, I leave my human nature to play out its role. I remain as I am. That's pure consciousness. So that's a very clear scene. He sees that human nature is behaving sometimes, you know, very irritable, sometimes this and that. He doesn't identify with that. He said somehow something is causing that to be. Maybe past life, maybe old behavior. But I'm not concerned with that now. I'm not identified with that state anymore. I don't call that state me. I just continue just resting inside my own awareness. So if he's resting in his own awareness, that human side that's running around can't do that for much longer because it needs attention. If nobody's looking at it, you see, the mind can only for- perform if it has an audience. If there's no one to give it attention, it doesn't exist, you know. And the attention comes from you, and your even attention comes from you. So you're not even the attention. Observe very, this, this, these few points when when really caught and remembered, because that's what happens is we we tend to forget where we really are. Where you really are is the self. That's not moving. When you remember that things like attention going in the mind behaving don't mean nothing very much.
you see that they're just phenomenon, soon forgotten, soon pass. You know, just like any cloud, and they, they keep changing. Nobody has to force them. Hmm? So it's all good. Now, even when people talk about these things, you know, they feel like, oh, I'm not doing so well at the moment because it, stop that. That's not true. You know, don't judge yourself with your thoughts. You know, you're not your thoughts. You know, but when they come, if you hold on to them, you create a relationship and an identity with them, and of course, you're gonna feel, oh, I'm not doing very well because no thought is doing particularly well. You know, they just they keep changing. Even nice ones, after a while, it goes into some silly place or something. So. It's good to be aware of thought, make use of them also, but keep your royal distance from them. You know, don't identify. Yourself is not a thought, that is 100% sure. But our self belief maybe is a thought construct is there. So, this difference we have to just keep recognizing until the whole thing looks very silly after a while. You just have to keep watching it and seeing that it's. Um, this is the one thing you have to overcome and to transcend in life, and that is your your mind attachment, the belief in the mind. It's only that to be overcome, the identity that is created in the mind, and and the mind play. You have to understand that's your ship, that's your house. You have to understand how that mind works and how, and that without identity, it doesn't have any power. Once you understand that and you see that you are neither of those two. You are the witness of them. Already, uh, the you know the whole thing cannot hold, and uh, you find again your yourself, and um, it's like one 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 thing more and more. You know, yeah. This is all. This is all now. Over the years of wrestling so much with different ideas about myself and so and so. It became very simple. Oh, but that's all that's nonsense. It's not true. And my thoughts are not me. But my thoughts make me feel like I am I am them. If I believe in them, I start to feel, oh, you know, I'm having a bad day today, and so on, so on, so a thought cannot have a bad day. It's just the believer in the thought can have a bad day. But the believer in a thought is also kind of thought, you know. The believer in the thought, the one who says, "Oh, I can't get out of this state. Please help me." That one is also a thought. You know, it's the most dangerous thought actually, because nobody suspects it is a thought. We all think it is us, and because we think it is us, our life becomes very unstable, unstable and unsteady, because even that identity is not steady. The only steady thing is the self. Which is what we really are, and that's all that Satsang is here to really point out and to get everyone to 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 see and to acknowledge. And it takes time because we've been we've been a bit uh, uh, a stranger to ourselves for a very long time, being in the role of personhood and identity and so on. We've, we've been on the road for a very long time, wearing out body after body, carrying this this uh, strong identification. No? So I put it that this life is the life to finish up that that delusion. You know? it really is, and it's a wonderful feeling. <laughs> and you're well on your way, well in the way, well on the way, well on the way, well on the way. Thanks to you, brother. Well, we feel very happy to see you today. Yeah, it's coming up. Yeah. Yeah. We saw somebody else down there, didn't know who it is, and then I come and I said, oh, that's my mama. Just yeah. come here and see you. It's like. Yeah. Love you so much, Baba. So nice to see you back and talk to you soon, huh? Yeah, love you, love you. I love you.